Hi everyone, this is Gadget Trish or GT. And before I get into today's post, I just wanted to offer my condolences to Michael Jackson's family, friends and family who um, I know are still mourning the loss, you know, through a fan's perspective. Um, we miss Michael, we celebrate Michael, we, we wish that the world appreciated Michael when Michael was alive. It, it's a shame it took him dying for us to get to this point. And um, we just want you to know from us as fans, we're here to bring um, honor and restore the Jackson family name. So with that being said, um, I would like to bring a highlight to Billboard for having a beautiful article on Michael Jackson um, in New York. Uh, this is my first magazine seeing Michael Jackson on newsstands this month. The title for this is Rediscovering Michael Jackson. And um, for me personally, what I got from this article was it focused more on things that led to all the drama surrounding Michael. And it humanized him, you know, it, it's, you know, it's been so much slander, particularly this week um, from reporters and bloggers and haters. It's just refreshing that someone just says, you know what, let's just stick with the facts. The fact is, this is, that is. We don't have time for what, you know, the ne we don't have time for the negativity. We're going to focus on the positive. And for me personally, not only that I rediscovered Michael Jackson, I rediscovered the Jackson family. I've gotten, um, you know, I've, I study their music. I didn't even know about all their 70s stuff, like Michael having four solo albums before Off the Wall, Jermaine Jackson having so, a solo career, especially the 70s, I had no idea. Even, um, Jackie Jackson has a solo album and um, it was just exciting just just getting into their music and the Jackson 5 and I don't mean the greatest hits I mean people download or go to to your nearest you know records you know CD store Amazon shop or whatever download that Jackson 5 stuff beautiful beautiful music positive music and um, some of it is just absolutely classic. And um, the one thing that I've always connected with with Michael was that Michael was different. Michael was unique. And he made the best of his gifts. And here, you know, in my personal life, you know, sometimes I've been considered an, out an outcast or, you know, someone that's just a little over the top, very misunderstood. And um, my mother and my friends, they celebrate it, but some people just think, quite frankly, I'm a hot mess. And Michael has always shown me through what he does and how he had to hold his head up high. It's okay to be different. So my, my message today from following Michael Jackson's legacy is it's okay to be different. You don't have to fit in the status quo. And as long as you're not harming people, mentally or physically, you know, embrace being unique. And there's someone always out there that's going to understand where you're coming from and you don't have to fit in a box. And because Michael always took things to the next level, I mean, look, you know, there are millions and millions of people that are really sincerely feeling the loss of such a outstanding artist. And from one artist to the next, Michael, you truly inspired me. This is just one aspect on why I celebrate you the way that I celebrate you. And I definitely celebrate the, all the Jacksons, um, especially the siblings, because they are just as part of the legacy. So please, you know, leave in my comment area or video post, how do you feel connected to Michael Jackson and what he meant to you? And, um, Tomorrow's going to be a tough day for all of us. So until my next post, I'm out. Bye.